everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the tutorial series on how to write up programs for a quantum computer with the help of our open source Python library Qiskit. In the last part, we understood how we can install the Qiskit on a Windows machine. We know that Qiskit not only helps us to write a program, but it also provides the flexibility to simulate the same program on our classical computer. So what does simulation mean? Simulation means the basic execution of our program on our PC or a laptop to have a more or, more or less similar behavior of this program when it is going to be run on an actual quantum computer. But you have to keep in mind whenever you execute your program on your laptop, it would always be giving you a same behavior whereas when you run your program on a quantum computer, it may have a different behavior. And that we're gonna observe in our upcoming parts. Why does it happen? Because quantum computer works on a probability, not on a certainty, whereas our classical computer works on a certain state of the bit. And that is we gonna understand and learn in the upcoming part. So once we are satisfied with the written program behavior through the simulation process, it means we are ready to run our program on an actual quantum computer. So how can we run our program on an actual quantum computer? So IBM has made quantum hardware available on cloud. To run our program on an actual quantum computer available on cloud, we need to have an access token. To get the access token, we need to create our account on an IBM site that is quantum-computing.ibm.com which you can see on my screen. So how can we set up you know the account for an IBM cloud where through which we can access the quantum computer. So the website is quantumcomputing.ibm.com okay so once you just land up on this page here you can see this click create an IBM ID account So I have just filled my, you can just continue filling whatever the information it asks and then it send a link to your mail ID and it will provide you the instruction which you need to follow and you will have your ID created for the IB. So what I'm going to do is once you have created your um, ID, then you can just log into the machine. So once you just log into this, it will ask for the If you are allowed to just get onto this page, you will see whatever the name you will give, welcome that. So welcome page will dis will appear and it means that your account has been created. Now you need an access token. How can you get the access token? To get the access token, you can see uh, on right top, you can see sign in as Abhishek Jain and then you can click on my account and here you can see this copy token. You can click on this copy token and you have your token copy, right? And this is the token you need to use when you are going to run your program on actual uh, quantum computer, right? The another part which I wanted to uh, explain you here is uh, if you want to play around with, you know, if you want to have a, some real time experience, what you can do is here you can see the circuit composer, you can click on this create a circuit. So as I mentioned in my previous part that the what we do when we write a program for a computer, quantum computer, basically we create a quantum circuit. And how we create a quantum circuit? We create a quantum circuit by using some logical gates and we apply that logical gates on our qubits, right? So here you can see that we have these qubits, Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3, right? And here we have some gates like Hadamard gates and we have a lot of gates. We can just drop and drag here and whatever you want to do it, you can just do it and you can just play around with that, right? So you can just go through the uh, documentation also and there is very good documentation if, if you want to just see some kind of you know Qiskit notebooks that also you can uh, you can access and you can see right Qiskit notebooks are here right so there are a lot of program which has already been there you can just click on that and you can see what exactly being done but uh, definitely in upcoming section we are going to write a program by ourselves and you can just follow along and you can just write those programs. So that is how you can just create your uh, uh, account on IBM site. Now, uh, how you can just 
I mean, it's not that important, but since we are just, you know, talking about the account, so let me just open my notebook and let me just explain how can we load uh, the account so that we are good to go for, you know, executing our program. But definitely, no need to worry about it. We are going to cover this part in upcoming section as well. So we are going to just click a Python, right? So very first thing, what we have to do is we have to from so it's fine then what we have to do is in ibm key save underscore account and then what you have to do is you have to just paste the same access token which you have here which you just got it from this website right you just click on this then go to my account then copy token and you can just put it here and if you just shift enter and it will just give you the it will just give you this some message right uh, so i don't want to reveal my uh, access token but once that gets done then another thing is which we have to do is we have to just call another method which is load account and then we are good to just run our program and that no need to worry about it in detail we're gonna see in a next section how we can run our simple program on actual so that's it from my side for this particular video if you have any feedback or suggestion or if you need me to incorporate some other theoretical concept around a quantum computer please do let me know so that i can just prepare the content uh, accordingly so that it would be easier for everybody or the beginners who want to understand how the quantum computer works and in my opinion writing a program and understanding the concept is the easiest and the interesting way to do so until our next video stay healthy and keep learning thanks again